All right, it's odd numbers time here with Joshua. Odd numbers. You want to read or you want Aunt to read? <coughs> Excuse me. You want me to read that part there to talk for you, Joshua? No, please. All right, well, you read it for me, Bright Spark. So you know you're the best reader in here. You better let Auntie read on. An odd um, number. Um, mm -hmm. uh, number is a number which when divides by two given the gives the remainder one. Here are the first five odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, and nine. Question is seven, forty-seven, and number seventy-seven, forty-seven. When divide by two gives the the remainder one. Forty-seven is. Mm-hmm. All right, you can scroll down. It's showing you there if you divide 47 by 2, you get 23 remainder 1. So continue here from this part that's telling you remember. Let me hear you. Remember <coughs> that all odd numbers must end in 1, 1, 4, the following follow and odd number and one three five seven nine good boy so it's telling us all odd numbers <coughs> first of all listen joshua daddy i just had to clear my throat okay let's eat some biscuit and I just tell me what I had to clear my throat. Because since I've been enjoying myself so much for my birthday, and every time you hear me clear my throat, you know, he was wondering what was causing me to clear my throat. <laughs> all right. Remember that all odd numbers must end in one of the following odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. So Joshua, look how easy this is. We don't have to try to remember if 51, 93, 65, 27, or 89 are our numbers. All we have to do is look for the number at the end. And once we look to see, is it a one, does it end with a 1? Does it end with 3, 5, 7, or 9? And if the answer is yes, we know. Easy peasy, odd number. she does is eat and she gone she didn't even give me a little love up for feeding her all right you scroll down joshua so in this exercise we are writing the next two odd numbers in each sequence so we have seven we have nine we have eleven remember joshua we are paying attention to the number at the end so we look at seven we look at nine we look at the one if you look back at the top there when it says remember that all our numbers must end in one of these following our numbers one three five seven nine so what you saw after one you saw three right yes please so that is telling us the next odd number is going to be 13. so one three is the next odd number Tell me what's coming after one, three. Seven. After one, three is going to be 15. One, five. So we count till we increase it. It won't be seven because seven will be a smaller number. If you look in all of these questions here, we're increasing, we're getting bigger, right? 
it's just as if we are counting but we're skipping out a number as we count so we're not saying seven eight nine ten after seven we don't mention eight we don't have any time for eight because eight is an even number the next number we call is nine when we get to nine we don't even want to see number 10 because number 10 is even the next number we're interested in is 11. when we say 11 do we have time for 12 or we don't want to see 12. you think that we have time for 12 joshua no, no we don't want to see 12 Tell 12 get from around me next number we check in is 13. remember for an odd number where we divide it by two we always have a remainder so if we look at 12 the number at the end of 12 is two so when we put two into two we get one there's no remainder that's telling me number 12 trying to trick me but you can't trick auntie or joshua number 12 is an even number go from around here you know go back so we don't want you we're looking for number 13. When we get to 13, we don't want to see 14. Once again, it's important to know your tables. We don't want to see 14. The number at the end of 14, 14 is 1 and 4. That is how we write 14. The number at the end of 14 is 4. If I say 2 into 4, 2 into 4 is 2. I'm taking my time with it because Joshua has not done division at school as yet. So Joshua basically knows his tables in one direction, but not the other. As I said, all time days, all time days. <laughs> this is a conversation I have with um, some of my parents sometimes. Back in our old time days, we used to say two ones are two, two into two one. Now it seems like we mostly learn tables, but at some schools they still do this. It seems mostly at most schools they do not. They're just doing two ones or two. And then down the road, then they come and they learn the division separately. Right? Just different um, different ways of doing things. So I always try to, like, teach in a way, like, not to overwhelm Joshua too much with the division part of it, you know? I try to help him understand. Um, I would normally do it if I have three things one person has a partner but then there's another person here who doesn't have a partner that is odd that is strange why don't you have a partner we were made for connection we're supposed to have friends and so on why why are you there by yourself that's odd if i say four one person has a partner the other person has a partner that's even yay everybody gets a partner you see find ways of helping you to understand and to remember things all right, Joshua, the next question. Remember, we're still looking to put the next two numbers. So we have 19, we have 21, we have 23. So you can do it. If it's easier for you, Joshua, we could do this as if you are counting and just skipping out a number. So we have 19. We keep in 19. Then comes 20. We don't want 20. We have 21. We keep in 21 next comes 22 we don't want 22 23 we keep in 23 then would come 24 but we don't want 24 what's the next number after 24 25 good boy then what comes after 25 26 26 but we want 26 joshua are we not keeping it we're not keeping we're not keeping and 26 no way not about here so what's the next number after 26 27 excellent so our next two odd numbers were 25 and 27 all right bright spark come down to the next question here now with this 33 we have 33 we did not keep 34 we kept 35 we did not keep 36. We kept 37. Keep going, Joshua. Was after 37? 38. 38. Are you keeping 38, Joshua? No, please. Not at all. No, please. No, please. Find another person. Not Auntie and Joshua. We're not keeping 38. So what's the next number we're keeping? 
39, good boy. And what number comes after 39? After 39 is 40. Do you want 40, Joshua? You want that number? No, nope. no, no, no. We don't want you, and you know it. After number 40 is one number. 41. All right, so the two numbers were 39 and 41. All right, look at the next one here that's starting with 57. 57. Fifty-seven. After that is fifty-eight. Get away. Then we have fifty-nine. After that is sixty. Get away. Then we have sixty-one. After sixty-one is after sixty-one is sixty-two. Sixty-two. You want sixty-two? No, please. Dash it away. What comes after 62? 63. 63. Excellent. Keep going, star boy. After 63 is? 64. 64. What should we do with 64? What should we do with 64? Blow it away or keep it, invite it home for dinner. What we should do with this 64? Keep it. You keep it 64. So 64 ends with number four. Is number four even or odd? Look at number four is odd? Even. Even. We, are we looking for even numbers or odd numbers? Odd numbers. Odd numbers. So we don't want 64, 64. I'm very sorry to hurt your feelings, my love, but you can't come over for dinner tonight. Maybe another night. Maybe when it's even numbers night, but not tonight. We're not giving 64 any dinner tonight. Um, After 64 is what number? 65. 65 is an odd number, right, Joshua? Yes, yeah, so number 65, you get to stay for dinner. What are we cooking for dinner for 65, Joshua? What do you want to cook for dinner? Odd. Odd. Odd, yeah. 65 is odd number. So 65 gets to come over by Auntie and Joshua and have dinner with us. So I ask you, what will you be cooking for dinner, Joshua? You ain't cooking anything? Uh, you gonna cook some pasta? Odd. Odd. You see, you cooking odd. So you're cooking odd food for the odd number. No problem. All right. Let me pause, let me pause and come back and wrap up this odd number business.